Sports looks a lot different in 2021, and competitive cheer is no exception. In-person competitions are still a no-go, but COVID can't stop the show from going on. For our kids, we wanted them to still have a very authentic competition day experience, even if it wasn't in a traditional environment. You know, feel like they're performing for the audience that is actually there online. Empire Cheerleading in Benton, Arkansas is one of many gyms competing virtually using live broadcast technology. Here's Empire Cheerleading. The company eCheer Events partnered with Cheer Replay to make competitions possible in a way never done before. They decided the best thing to do rather than sending judges in, they have a little kit they ship. They ship you a kit and it has like a, the plug that you put into your GoPro. We have a GoPro set up along with all the other teams in the country from East Coast to West Coast and we all use the same system to get it back to the judges. Five, six, seven, eight, uh, when it's our turn, we'll go and then it'll be the next team from maybe from Arizona. To compete at all is something special because we weren't sure whether or not we were going to get to. And so just being able to make this work with keeping everyone's safety and health a priority um, has been really cool and it's been a new experience. Being able to do it still with COVID and everything, it's just really makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite things to do and I'm glad that my competition season didn't get canceled. You get grand champion and you get to win. I was like crying and doing happy tears and stuff. It's really fun. Uh, you make new friends. We have our event producers to thank for that, for sure, because they are the ones that had to relearn the whole entire back end from booking a venue, which is very expensive, to, oh, well, we won't have the venue expense. Oh, wait, we have the streaming expense. Competing in a new setting in a new way changes up a cheerleader's game day. I think it's not as nerve-wracking for the kids. There's no lights and there's no stage and it's just different. It's different, definitely different. There's not a big crowd to help energize us. The cameras are pretty intimidating, but it's peaceful too. So we don't have the crowd and like all the teams are not necessarily like very close to the floor. For us, virtually, uh, we're able to be in front of the kids and for them to see us do motions and counts, it's a little bit easier versus when we're in a actual competition, there's a stage up to our chest pretty much and it's dark so they can't see us. When your coach is there, and like you do something really good you can see and that just that just energizes you like you can like yes we got this there's not an arena full of people that they don't know um, it's just us but i think as a coach it's still the same amount of nerves the change of scenery has actually expanded the reach of a studio like empire competing nationally instead of regionally and allowing more friends and family to spectate here in our gym we have hundreds of families that log in because it's not just our gym families that are competing here today but also all of our teams at home the grandparents and so that part is wonderful because people that may not have been able to come to the competition before geographically or physically are able to log in from home and see we actually have a live stream and tv set up for the parents at the other end of the gym and so they can come and watch either the whole competition because it plays all the other teams as well or they can just come and watch their team too i think it's really cool because we get to see all the, like the different type of coaching styles and routines from all across the country this is our third virtual competition the first one was in november and i think we actually have one more and then we're going to start traveling safely from practice to competitions, be it in person or virtual, what's important goes beyond national championships. So we tell our parents every year, you know, our mission here is to build pride, courage, and confidence. And we're not just building cheer skills, we're building life skills with these kids. And uh, I joke with our parents and I'm like, look, it doesn't matter to me if she has a great back handspring, but I'm going to keep her off your couch when she's 18. And, you know, and so and help him get a job one day and be able to interview and so, and to not learn how to fail because they're not all gonna win. And some days you're just not the best one there. And what do you do when that happens? And those, so those are just very valuable skills we feel are even more important than you know the trophies and the awards and the placements. Dick Walters, Fox 16.